Hi my lovies, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a foundation review video. I haven't done a first impressions on a foundation in a while so I decided that I would pick one up. I feel like a hot mess today. I decided to test the Wet n Wild Photo Focused Foundation. This has been on my recommendation list for a long time from you guys and it's been really tough to get hold of because yes we have Wet n Wild in Ireland but we didn't have this foundation so I had to order it online and get it shipped using a shipping service. I have no idea where you would buy this that ships to Ireland directly. I'm gonna have a look online and see can I find anywhere. I got a PR email from Wet n Wild the other day, but it's the Irish one, and this isn't even on their list of new and upcoming products. So I have no idea when this is gonna be released in Ireland or if it even, even is going to come to Ireland. I don't know, I have it here in my possession right now, so I said I may as well do a first impressions on it. This foundation I think was something like six or seven dollars. It was really inexpensive. I do the normal, you know, check in every couple of hours, see how it's wearing, all that jazz. Uh, one side of my face will always use a beauty blender, the other side I will use a brush, see which apply applies better, and one side of my face I will put a primer. The only thing I know about this foundation, it's supposed to be really, really good under like seven different lightings or something like that. I think they tested it under, yeah, they tested it under seven light conditions. It has no SPF in it, so I think that is great if you are going to be you know, wearing it anywhere that flash photography and it gives no bounce back and that's what it says on the back. There is no real other claims. I did have a look on the Wet n Wild website obviously before I bought this to see was it suitable for oily skin or dry skin. It doesn't have any claims. I don't know what this is gonna be like on my skin tone or my skin type rather because as you guys know, I am oily combination. So I have pretty oily skin, especially in the T-zone area all here and then it comes out to about here, my oils. Like even right now I can feel my cheeks are just a tad bit oily. My chin is always oily and they're kind of my breakout spots. So around my chin, around the top of my lip for some reason, must get sweaty. <laughs> Um, then in between my brows and over here would be kind of my major breakout areas or major areas of concern, large pores, etc. So yeah, let's get stuck in. I'm first gonna prime my face, so I'm going to prime this side of my face. I'm just taking the L'Oreal Nude Magic Blur Cream. Oh my God, I'm really... <coughs> <sighs> have like a frog in my throat. This is like one of my favorite primers ever for blurring out your pores. Very similar to the Benefit Porefessional. So I believe this has a spatula, yeah, has a spatula. I'm just gonna put a bit on the back of my hand. I don't like putting product directly onto my face because I have no control over how much I actually put on and it looks like a mess then. So this is how much I'm taking. I'm in the shade, sorry, cream beige. Yeah, cream beige. I will write down a list of foundations that my color is in. Generally, I'm an NC 35 to 37 from MAC. I have a tiny bit of remnants of fake tan on, so I don't have fresh fake tan on or anything like that today. This is matching my skin quite well, actually, as you can see. It's blending into my natural skin tone very nicely. The Beauty Blender, I don't know, it appears to be kind of eating a little bit of the product. It spread quite nice. It was easy to blend this foundation. There's a little bit of coverage from it. It's not definitely not full coverage. Not something I would really recommend for somebody who might have an awful lot of blemishes they want to cover, but that's what we're getting from one layer of application. I'm pretty happy you can see side by side comparison. So now I'm going to take this foundation on my Sigma Flat Top F80, F80 brush, the one that I always use to apply foundation with. This has given me so much more coverage with a brush. I think the Beauty Blender was definitely eating up the product. It is a much more matte foundation than my LA Girl Pro Coverage, that's the one that I've been just using a lot lately. Lately? Lady? Lately. <laughs> Even though that foundation is definitely more suitable for drier skin tones, I really like it because it gives a really nice finish. This, in my opinion, if you have dry skin, may not suit you. It's it's very easy to glide on the skin. It's not attaching itself to any dry patches. I don't generally have a huge amount of dry patches on my skin anyway. The only problem I would say is that it is quite a flat, <laughs> matte foundation. So there is no luminosity to it or glowiness at all whatsoever. So if you have dry skin, it might not add any luminosity to your skin, but you could use like a more luminous base underneath it, like the L'Oreal Blur Cream or maybe one of the MAC Strobe Creams or something like that. But I quite like the finish of this. I think it's nice so far for my oily skin and I think it looks suitable. I've just applied one layer all over my face. It's definitely medium coverage, not a full coverage foundation. It's covered everything I needed to cover, 
but I would like just a tad bit more coverage, especially in my forehead area. I'm gonna apply another layer of foundation just because I just want to, just mostly to my cheek area and just a little bit to my chin and just a tiny bit on my forehead, not around my temples or anything. And I'll come back to you and discuss what I'm thinking so far from the foundation. But right now, I think the brush applies it just a teeny bit better for just a little bit more coverage. The Beauty Blender applied it lovely, but I think it ate an awful lot of the product because it is a little bit more of a liquidy consistency consistency. Okay, so I applied just a little bit more just to give myself a little bit of extra coverage. I'm gonna zoom in and show you guys a little bit more up close. The only thing I want to kind of say right now is I have a tiny bit of dryness around my nose and it has clung to the dry skin just a little bit. Foundation has kind of clung a little bit around my dry patch just around my nose that I just spoke about. Not so much on the other side, I don't really have anything. But you can see it's very full coverage. Like I am noticing a little bit from the unprimed sign it has sank in tiny, tiny, tiny amount into my, like we'll say my pores, that's the word. Whereas on this side, my pores have been blurred out so it hasn't sunk into them as much, but nothing really to write home about, nothing shocking. Is it currently, it is currently 11.58. So I'm gonna say, we'll say 12 o'clock. That's when I finished applying this product. And I'm gonna come back and do my updates throughout the day. I'm so late starting to film them today. I had a huge amount of emails to get through this morning. I'm gonna go finish the rest of my face and then I will come back whenever I'm finished my, the rest of my face and talk about the rest of the products that went on my face. Hey guys, so I'm back now for my kind of first update, I suppose, of the day. It is now 1.22. It's been an hour and a half since I kind of apply the foundation and I've just put everything else on top of it. I know my makeup is slightly dramatic. So the first thing I want to say is that the foundation is definitely full coverage when you apply a second layer. I think we touched on that when I was actually applying it first. Everything applied really nicely on top. I really liked how everything blended out. The only problem I was having was a little bit of my concealer in the middle here was kind of taking off the foundation from underneath. I don't know why, that's never really happened to me before. There's no creasing underneath my eyes. I'm not noticing a huge difference between the primed and unprimed side right at this moment. I am noticing though that I have a little bit more texture on this side of my face. I just kind of have I don't know, a little bit of texture on my cheek area and I can kind of see it, but I think that's more because of the blush, the blush that I'm wearing today. It looks lovely on camera, which is great. And now that the lighting has kind of changed a little bit because it's an hour and a half later, obviously, it's getting a bit sunnier. So it's still looking really, really well in real life in, in what I'm seeing in the mirror, it looks amazing. There's no patchiness, there's nothing like that. There's no creasing, there's no fading. Obviously I wouldn't expect there to be after an hour and a half. It looks sensational. Everything sat on top of it really well, like I already said and it's a great color match. This is definitely 100% my color. So I'm gonna go about my day and I will check in with you in a little while later. Before I finish, I'll talk about what's on my face. So on the eyes, I'm wearing the Makeup Revolution palette. I'm wearing the Rebel Una Lashes in Izzy. My eyebrows look a hot mess, but it is the Cabrow gel that I put through them. I seriously need to go and get my brows done. On my cheeks, I'm wearing the Makeup Revolution, the blush and the highlight. And for my bronzer today, I'm using the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. I'm wearing Max Spice and Max Blankety lipstick. So I think I've covered everything. Like I said, I'm gonna go about my day and getting my nails done. They're so ratchet right now. It's been like six weeks since I got my nails done last and I'll come back later and we'll do an update and I'll talk to you then. Hey guys, so I'm back for another update. Oh wait, I almost forget to take my glasses off. I am now sitting down after being in town and doing a couple of bits and bobs around the house and I had to go back into town. So I'm officially sitting down to this next update. So it is 5.37 at the moment, which means that the foundation has been on for five and a half hours. And I'm pretty pleased with this. I'm just gonna tilt my mirror around to me. I just applied another coat of lipstick. It's looking a bit ashen and I have lipstick on my feet as well. My next report is that the foundation is looking amazing. Five and a half hours in, I would expect a little bit of breakdown. There's absolutely nothing kind of breaking down on my skin at all and my highlight is still glowing to the gods. I'm not noticing any patchiness or fading or anything like that. It looks amazing. Like five and a half hours into a foundation, I would generally have to blot my skin at this point. I'm getting a bit dewy now, a little bit of moistness on my chin and in between my brows from my natural oils. But I think that this would look pretty flat if you had 
maybe dry skin. I don't know. If anybody has dry skin and you've tried it out there, please let me know what you think of it. I'm super impressed with this five and a half hours in. I think this looks amazing. I've been wearing my glasses all day as well and it hasn't rubbed off around my nose, which usually would be a big issue. I think it looks great in most lighting. I'm not gonna blot or anything now at this point. I don't feel like I need to. And I will pop back in a couple more hours. So we'll see how the foundation holds up after dinner and I'll talk to you then. Hi guys, so I'm just back for my second last update of the day. It is just gone eight o'clock. I'm after leaving my phone downstairs, but it's 8 p.m. I just had dinner and tea and I had a little bit of a Terry's chocolate orange. I'm looking a little bit oilier right now, so I'm not as matte as I was earlier on but I mean this foundation has been on for eight hours that's a standard working day kind of like standard school well school day it'd actually be six hours but you know what I mean like it's a standard kind of lengthy day it's what you would expect most foundations to last maybe between six and eight hours I am obsessed with the way this looks on my skin right now because I don't think there's any foundation I've tried in a while that looks this good after eight hours of wearing. It looks sensational. I am gonna powder my face though because my chin is a little bit oily and just in around my nose here and you can see in between my brows is just a little bit oily. I'm just taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder and I'm just gonna blot that on. Again, if you have drier skin, you may not like feel to the need to blot at this time. I'm so curious whether this foundation is gonna work for dry skin because as you can see, like my oils are only coming through after around eight hours and they're not even that bad. Like I could totally get away with it if I used just a blotting sheet or something. If you have dry skin, please, I would love to know how you get on with this foundation or do you find that it's good or you know, what your thoughts on this foundation are. I would feel 100% comfortable going out like this in public. You know what I mean? Like you don't feel like your makeup's melting off your face. I'm just gonna head off right now. I'll come back and do my final update probably around the 11 o'clock I'm gonna say or midnight just before I go to bed and we'll see what way it's looking then so I will talk to you soon. Hi guys so it's my last update of the night and it is 12 18 I hope you can see that. It has officially been on for 12 and a half hours this foundation and oh my god it looks in, like it looks insane it's amazing it looks great on my skin okay I am a little bit oily and I'm very exposed like overexposed here with the light but it generally looks great on my skin. Like it looks so good. I was just out with one of my friends and she was like, your foundation is amazing. What are you wearing? I love it. I think it is a winner. I am obsessed with this. It's my new favorite foundation. I'm gonna already say that I am amazed with it. Okay, I have looked better. <laughs> I need to take my eyelashes off. They're like peeling off. But you can see it looks great in between my brows. It's not creasing on me. I'm not noticing any difference at all with the primer or the unprimed side. Like it's not hasn't worn down or broken down on either side. My chin has gotten a little bit oilier since my last update, even though I did blot at that time and in between my brows and stuff. Again, I think it would just be about an eight hour wear foundation, nine hour, 10 even. Like this is on for 12 and it still looks pretty decent. I'm gonna go now because I have nothing more to say. I am so happy with this foundation. Two thumbs up for me. Guys, I highly recommend picking it up. I'm gonna hop in the shower now and then go to bed. Thank you so much guys for watching. I love you all so much and I'll talk to you in my next video. Mwah. Bye!